Yo, have you seen Moon Knight? He's like officially one of my favorite characters in the MCU, for sure. Oh, so you'll watch the whole MCU, but won't even give One Piece a chance? Okay, I see. Are we really gonna do this again? No, 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 I'm just messing with you. Well, mostly, but yeah, Moon Knight was pretty dope. I'm guessing you want to learn how to fight like him. Hey, hey, I just came here to spend some quality time with, you know, my good buddy old pal DJ. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. Yes, I just want to learn how to fight like Moon Knight. Well, let's figure that out together. What's up, guys? This is the only Ninja Warrior, Avery and a Seguro hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. I am such a big fan of the MCU. Like, as soon as they announced Moon Knight, I knew I was gonna be making a video about it. It was like, it was inevitable. I am inevitable. And the same goes for Blade, just FYI. You know my man Blade is getting a video. But now that the series has ended and I've given you all about a week to catch up, it's time to jump in. For those that don't know, in the Fight Like a Superhero series, I analyze the fighting styles of your favorite TV, movie, video game, and anime characters and break down how you can fight like them and mimic their style in real life. Now, some work better than others, like the Invincible fighting style is uh, absolute trash. And Ty Lee's fighting style is actually pretty good. And Sanji's style, which we just did, seems pretty fun. So. Let's see how good Moon Knight's fighting style is in real life. Now I'm gonna do us both a favor and assume you've already seen the show on Disney Plus, and so I'm gonna skip his origin story because, well, I don't wanna waste your time, I don't wanna waste my time, and it's way too complex and I really just don't wanna go over it. Like there are so many layers in there and I am no therapist, so I'm not gonna tackle that. But if you haven't watched it yet, definitely save this video and, and go watch it first because However, I'm, I'm not gonna really talk about the plot. There will definitely be some spoilery clips in this video. So uh, do with that information what you will. You know what, no, I'll make this even more blatant. This is your spoiler warning. If you don't wanna get spoiled, leave. And come back, obviously. Since I'm not gonna start with his origin, might as well start with his character creation. He was created by Doug Monk and Don Purley and first appeared in 1975. One of those names I'm pretty sure I pronounced wrong and sir, if you're watching this, which you're probably not, I'm sorry. Originally, he was a villain for Werewolf by Night, but eventually proved popular enough to be turned into a hero, a lot like Punisher, Hawkeye, Rogue, Black Widow, Deadpool, and even Falcon. Yes, Falcon, like the same Falcon that became Captain America? I kid you not. Comics are, comics are weird. But in the comics, Moon Knight has a ton of martial arts ability from his various careers. He was a boxer, a marine, a commando, and a CIA agent. So you'd think that would make his fighting style great, right? Well, you would be wrong because it's it's not good. Taskmaster, someone whose power it is to copy fighting styles, says that he hates copying Moon Knight's fighting style. Why is that? Well, it's because Moon Knight does not like to block or evade any attack or injury if it allows him the opportunity to counterattack. Basically just relying on his incredible healing and durability to just take the hits. And considering that some of those attacks would kill a normal person that may not be the best fighting style to learn that is unless you have some egyptian guy that will give you incredible healing in exchange for your soul but i mean i don't know if i still want to trade that that's just me but that's in the comics and i'm here to talk about the show so how exactly does mark and his uh, other personalities implement his fighting styles in film starting off you're actually not going to start with any martial arts training at all yeah I know, that seems kind of crazy for a superhero fighting video, but just follow me for a second. In what is basically the first fight scene in the show, we see Moon Knight lead an Egyptian werewolf to its death, or lead death. I'm honestly kind of unclear on like if it was dead or alive or, or how all that works, but that's beside the point. But Moon Knight led this thing on a really cool parkour chase scene under the Moon Knight and over a bunch of different buildings. Not gonna lie, it was super dope. That was an awesome scene.
But the reason I point out parkour first is not because of this awesome chase scene, although it is very awesome. It, Mark is actually shown using this kind of movement throughout his fighting styles. Dodging blasts, flipping over cars, and jumping between buildings, all while mixing his other styles in seamlessly. So parkour is definitely the place you want to start to build your base movement system. What is parkour? Well, I got you. Parkour is an athletic training discipline where people move from one point to another in the most fluid way possible, originally stemming from literal obstacle courses in the military. Which kind of makes sense considering Moon Knight's military background in the comics. A skilled parkour practitioner or parkourist will be skilled in running, climbing, swinging, vaulting, jumping, rolling, and the list continues. So now that we got the overall movement style out of the way, let's add in some martial arts for the actual combat. The first martial art you're going to need is karate or karate. First off, yes, I know it's pronounced karate, and I'll be trying to pronounce it as such, but if I slip, feel free to tell me how off I am down in the comments below. And subscribe while you're down there because, uh, why not? Karate is predominantly a striking art using punches, kicks, knees, elbows, and open hand strikes. Open hand strikes being like uh, palm strikes or, or chops or even finger strikes like spear hands. Some schools in modern times and even some schools historically will throw in some other grappling techniques and throwing techniques and maybe even some joint locks, but it's still a very strike focused art. So practicing in this art will give you a solid base and the majority of techniques that Moon Knight shows that he uses. One thing to note is that it can be practiced in several different ways, most notably as a combat sport, an art, and as a self-defense. So when looking for your karate school, make sure to find the self-defense school. Now that's not saying these other types of training is not good or helpful, that's just not what you're gonna use for Moon Knight, so uh, it is what it is. Now this may not teach you some of the more fancy kicks Moon Knight does, but that's why we started with parkour, so don't even worry about that. You'll make the connections, I trust you. Now let's get into Moon Knight's weapon-based combat. First off, let's talk about those moon discs. First off, I just wanna say, um, those moon discs are super dope. The way he just magically removes them from his chest and they're strong enough to kill people is super impressive, especially considering that real life shuriken never were really meant to kill. Well, at least not instantly, like not right away. They may have been dipped in poison or even feces to cause infection, but it was rarely just a straight up kill shot instantly like it seemed to be for that one guy on the horse. But if you're wanting to be a pro at throwing these things, you're probably gonna wanna practice some shuriken jutsu. To be fair, this is more of a general term for the Japanese art of throwing shuriken. So it's not necessarily a single style, but we're gonna go with it anyway. Fun fact, this was actually the most commonly practiced by the samurai. Everyone seems to think that they only had their sword and that's so far from the truth. They had all types of shuriken and they were even arguably more famous for their archery in the time than their sword usage. So yeah, some more knowledge for you. But in modern times, the largest organization focusing on the use of shuriken is the Meifu Shinkage Ryu School. It's a school founded in the late 70s. Yeah, 1970s, I know, pretty recent. And they have schools all over the world. Tokyo, California, Illinois, Barcelona, London, Italy, Mexico, Australia, Canada, and the list literally just goes on and on. So you may actually find a school relatively close to you, so definitely check it out. Moon Knight also shows a high skill level with clubs and knives. Now, I really wanted this to be Tatib. Like, I wanted so bad for this to be Tatib. Because Tatib is a traditional Egyptian stick fighting martial art, which is perfect because, you know, Moon Knight. And this style is super old. I'm talking possibly dating back all the way to 27,000 BC. That's, I'm pretty sure that's older than the pyramids of Giza, if I believe. But if I'm wrong, I'm sure I'll hear about it down in the comments. And over the centuries this style has existed, it has transitioned several times, originally being a combat for war, and then transitioning to a combat sport, and even migrating into the realm of dance and just tradition. To in today's time. So this would be a great style for an Egyptian superhero. Like it would be fantastic. But man, I just can't do it. I can't tell you, you have to learn it because I, I, I gotta be, I gotta be honest. Because although it would be awesome for you guys to learn this art based on the heritage alone, 
That's not what he uses. On screen, without a doubt, he uses Arnis. Like, I am so sure it's Arnis. So although I do recommend learning that style, if you want to fight like the crazy man himself, you're gonna have to go with Arnis. But that is in no way a bad thing. Arnis is an amazingly effective martial art. In many cases, it's considered to be the best martial art for combat weapon skills. You may have also heard it go by the names Kali or Eskrima. It's a Filipino martial art that puts the emphasis on weapon-based fighting with sticks, knives, blades, and weapons of opportunity. So that firing pan, that frying pan that you have in your kitchen, uh, yeah. That counts. While this style does have some open hand techniques, you are really going to be focusing on that stick fighting. Practitioners learn techniques with these sticks and practice actual live sparring with rattan sticks or even aluminum sticks. And there's not many other styles and schools out there that will teach you live combat with your weapons. So definitely find yourself a really good artist school and train there for a little bit. Now for those that weren't paying attention, and I know there's a couple of you out there, Let's recap on what you gotta do to fight like Moon Knight. Starting off, you're gonna wanna find some parkour. That's gonna be the base of your entire movement, like the entire way you, you move your body. So that's definitely where you start. And then you add in some karate for a combat base. And then sprinkling in some shuriken jutsu for the moon disc. And never forget your harness for your awesome weapon work. Mixing that all together and selling your soul to an Egyptian god who totally is abusing you and your other personalities, you should be fighting like Moon Knight in no time. Rise and live again as my fist of vengeance, as my Moon Knight. Now, thanks guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit me with that HBO special. So, help brother out like comment and subscribe if you want to see more of my comment maybe even hit the bell so you don't miss when i post next but until next time my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out if you like learning how to fight like moon knight maybe check out this one about another marvel character shang chi or this other video that youtube thinks that you'll enjoy as well but either way i'll see you guys in the next one